Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Tuesday. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth Lord, shall declare your praise. Glory, Glory to the Father Lord. and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to our to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it. His hands have molded the dry land. Oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <coughs> Give glory to God, our light, and our life. Oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 42. <coughs> Excuse me. As a deer longs for the water brook, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think of these things, how I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God with a voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan and from the peak of Mizar, among the heights of Her Her Hermon. One deep calls to another in the voice of, of your cataracts. All your rapids and floods have gone over me. The Lord grants his loving kindness in daytime. In the night season, his song is with me. A prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the God of my strength, why have you forgotten me? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? While my bones are but being broken, my enemies mock me to my face. All day long they mock me and say to me, where now is your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so, so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will give thanks to him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Let us pray. Lord God, never failing fountain of life, through the saving waters of baptism, you called us from the depths of sin to the depths of mercy. Do not forget the trials of our exile but from the wellspring of the word, satisfy our thirst for you so that we may come rejoicing to your holy mountain where you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading today uh, comes from Isaiah, in the 40th chapter, beginning with verse 25. To whom then will you compare me that I should be like him, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who created uh, these he who brings out their host by number, calling them by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is so strong and powered, not one is miss missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. He, his understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exalted. But they who wait for the Lord shall, <clears throat> shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Thanks to God. God. Our second reading comes from Ephesians, the first chapter, beginning with verse 15. For this reason, because I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, I do not cease to give thanks to you, for you, good remembering you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, 
having the eyes of your hearts enlightened, that you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power in us who believe, according to the working of his great might, which is accomplished in Christ, when he raised him from the dead and made him sit at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and above every name, that is name, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, be to God. God. And our Holy Gospel today comes from St. Mark, the first chapter. Glory to you, O oh Lord. Now, after John was arrested, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of God and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And passing along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, Follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in their boat mending the nets. And immediately he called to them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired servants and followed him. And they went into Capernaum, and immediately on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. And immediately there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he called out, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying with a loud voice, came out of him. And they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this, a new teaching? With authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And at once his fame spread everywhere throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now, now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Our Lord and Savior, begotten before all ages, revealed himself to the world. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of his house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Lord and our Savior, begotten before all ages, revealed himself to the world. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father in heaven, you revealed Christ as your son by the voice that spoke over the waters of the Jordan. May all who share the, the sonship of Christ follow in his path of service to man and to reflect the glory of his kingdom, even to the ends of the earth. For he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord, art in heaven, hallowed Lord, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come. Thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. 
Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Tuesday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day. God bless you and hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.